if there's one takeaway from today's video, you need to understand that I'm actually nice and friendly. I'm not a stone cold statue. Hi everyone, my name is Aiden, and today I'm here to answer a series of assumptions about me. So actually, I am semi-dreading this. I feel like I'm probably one of the most misunderstood newer actors. There are probably a lot of like strange rumours about me out there. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for me. The first one, Aiden Sung has the charm, looks and charisma of an idol. He joined the industry in hopes to be famous. Well, I think anybody who joins this industry and tells you that they are not interested in fame or fortune is an outright liar and you should not believe them. I'm the kind of person who would rather not have any regrets. But what I'm very happy is that along the way, now that I'm in my fourth year, what I truly hope for it's becoming clearer and clearer. I hope to really hold my craft as an actor and in the long run, becoming a good actor. It appears that they have done some homework on me. Uh, despite being picture perfect, Aiden Sung doesn't like to speak in front of the camera. So if you trace back to my Instagram account, you'll realise that I only started in 2018. Prior to that, I basically had a camera phobia. I had this habit of like, Monday to Friday, I would go to, go to work, right? And then on the weekends, I would try to arrange at least one test shoot. All of this is to make sure that I learn how to be comfortable in front of the camera because what is instinctive to people, it didn't come naturally to me. Like, I always felt like super awkward in front of the camera, not knowing what to do. Whatever that you see right now is kind of like a combination of a very strategic and intentional route to becoming quote-unquote picture perfect. <laughs> Next question. This man has an old soul. So the answer to that is a 100% yes. I used to have a nickname when I was younger. My best friends would call me uh, Sun San Wu, which, I mean, Sun is my surname, right? And 35 obviously stands for age 35. So even when I was 21, people felt like I was a 35-year-old uncle because like my interests are a lot more aligned to somebody who is much older. And I enjoy being in that stage of life even though I am technically uh, not there yet. Aiden Sung knows he is a 10, so looking for love is hard. I don't actually think I'm a 10. So whoever's watching this video, I need you to picture, you know there's always going to be one of those, one or one or two of those boys that are the natural leader that everybody gravitates towards and like are very popular. That is not me. I was always the guy that like people relied on to do the work that they didn't want to do, like pour out the trash. That person hiding in the corner or in the shadows is more like me. And contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I actually don't have a lot of people being romantically interested in me. I'm very pragmatic and I know what my strengths and what my weaknesses are. And I don't oversell myself. My cats give me a lot of joy in life. Closest to my ideal type? I think looks-wise, you have to go back to the f one of the first few shows that I ever did, which was with Jessica Liu. I was like, I don't know why, like, I'm not gonna rave about her, but she did this thing with Lofi Cell recently, and she lo really looked like a goddess that just stepped into a fountain of golden water. Yeah, but she's married. <laughs> then the partner goes out, yeah. My cats come first. Google puts Aiden Sung as a musical artist, but he in fact only knows how to play one instrument, which is the erhu. Okay, I need to go Google myself after this. I don't think of myself as a musical artist, I think of myself as an actor that enjoys music. Secondly, yes, I play the erhu, uh, but I also know how to play the violin and the piano, albeit not as well. I think a guy who knows how to play a cello is very, very sexy. So that is going to be my next goal if I ever uh, and able to find time. So if you're a cello instructor and you're watching this, you can drop me a DM. <laughs> huh. This is a statement that I really, really like. With the bachelor pad that Aiden has, he would never want to head out. 100% true. <laughs> I enjoy staying at home. Dressing up the house is something that I enjoy truly and I like to be in this environment where uh, it feels like I'm recharging and getting ready for whatever is going to come the next day. The best place in my home is, uh, is the living room, the couch and there is a 70 inch TV. I feel like I'm in my personal sanctuary and I enjoy it. <laughs> Aiden Sung is secretly a weeb. I actually think that I am less of a weeb and more of an otaku. Japanese culture to me is fascinating and interesting, but what gets me obsessed is anime. This might sound a bit scary, but I watch anime on a daily basis. 
I have a crazy obsession for anime that's made in China. If you are a fan of anime, you should check it out. Uh, you should check out Inian Yongheng. It's very good. Dou Luo Da Lu. I know these, these terms don't make any sense to anyone, but just try it out and you would never turn back. Damn, I don't really feel like answering this one. Being labelled as the smart one in this industry is more of a bane than a boon. People would come up to me and say stuff like, I mean, it doesn't matter where you study, like, you know, we're all, we all end up here anyway. For some of them, there was this strange need to drill it into me that education is not important at all because like, look, you know, we didn't go to school but we're doing better than you and uh, we got a head start. I think the, the kind of like energy that I projected from being used to a corporate setting definitely didn't gel well. So it was tough. You know, after a few years of like obviously maturing in this industry, then you realise that everything is part of your own individual journey and experience. Regardless of whatever people say, especially, you know, the kind of like passive-aggressive behaviour that I had to deal with, it's something that I, deep down, am still very proud of. And deep down, I have no regrets about. Uh, this statement says that Chantel is one of the rare friends Aiden has in the industry. That is true, both in the Chantel and in the rare. <laughs> I have a few close friends. Chantel is one. Um, Carrie is a good friend, Fang Rong is a good friend. I think these, all these three ladies, they are amazing in their craft and more importantly, they have played a very supportive role in the past four years that I've been around. It would be nice, you know, to have a male friend that I can hang out with in the industry. But these kind of things, as with everything else in life, you don't have to force, right? And somebody like me who is like quote-unquote unapproachable, obviously nobody's gonna come and talk to me. I do. I actually, I, I genuinely think that I'm quite friendly. If there's one takeaway from today's video, you need to understand that I'm actually nice and friendly. I'm not a stone cold statue. Being in this industry, I think I'm very, very privileged and honoured to have found friends like them. I look forward to uh, seeing all of them, you know, do really well in the future. I hope that cleared some of the air about me. Also, it's nice, you know, to come to these kind of settings to talk about yourself. Uh, and you don't really sit down in this kind of setting to reflect on, ah, this is how I actually am. These are the things that I believe in. These are the philosophies that I subscribe to. So it's also very refreshing. Thank you for watching this episode of Assumptions About Me. If you like this video, do remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.